This is not going to end well, I just know it. A lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Veldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? That's the point, I think. Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. <coughs> Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-reference Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice. Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, well, he could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an Aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well, from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So... That would make sense. I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. <sighs> Hopefully we find a way to convince their uncle to not ban him from seeing Anne again. But I'm worried. What the hell was that? Oh, that was probably Sebastian leaving. But I'm worried because the next curse is the killing curse. So who knows what will happen that will cause that. I mean, who knows what will happen with us learning that. Alright, I'll go there after I speak for the weeks about the final broom upgrade.
again? Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, I have a special prize for you. Yeah, it'll take me a while to reach that much gold. Or galleons. <clears throat> Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. I beg your pardon, but would you mind helping out an old woman? Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty. Betty Bugbrook. And no, everything is not all right. Damn. My dear friend Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. <gasps> her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that to help her but she seems to have gone into hiding out of fear i'd imagine i know you hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal a requirement how did you become so close with the unicorn it was luck truly i came across her when she was a little golden foal didn't even have a horn yet Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh, I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. <gasps> and that is more than I can bear to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat. Oh, and be warned, she's a stubborn girl. She may need some convincing to come with you. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. <clears throat> This place has seen better days. Loud as a troll you are! I've heard centaurs quieter than you. Hazel must be here somewhere. Rebellion. Come on, Hazel.
Ravens all back to a vivarium now. I should let Madame Bugbrook know she's safe. Well, that didn't take as long as I fear it would. Madam Bugbrook. I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine. And I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You have a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer <coughs> away from the poachers. Do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? I will have my own magical zoo at this point. Or magical animal sanctuary. Magical creature sanctuary, I mean. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore that entirely. Now let me go ahead and save before. Nothing pleasant about this coast. I suppose not. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh, either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Don't let your frustration get the better of you. Fine. I'll defer to your keeper friends. For now. But I don't like it. We don't have a choice. Now, 
Shall we see why the triptych led us here? Alright, sounds a bit uppity, isn't he? Quickly, before we spot him. Keep a close eye out. Rock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables, but it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Wait, he took a hold of the coast and the ministry is doing nothing? We can't let that stand now, can we? One, two, three, four of them. Oh, this day's gone on too long. The traffic is to Dallas. Revenue. The traffic is to Dallas. How do you not see the body, Paul? Revenue. Oh. Okay, here is where I'm supposed to go. Vestrals <laughs> overhead. Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. Huh. <laughs> well, maybe you can sound a little less defensive with the small talk? That was a beard. Looks like some kind of barrier there. Okay, I guess you aren't making any small talk. Good to know. I was actually looking forward to see what else you would have to say. I bet the close by. I'm sorry we can both see Thestrals. Certainly not something I'd hoped we'd have in common. Lumos. Lumos. Repairo. Rependo. Thank you. 
Rebellion. Get her a third one up there. Been a while since I did one of those trials. That one was the easiest one I've ever done. Oh, that is awesome. I meant to go here. Okay, we should get back to what we were doing. There they are. Let's go. Wait, we should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. I was about to say. I was aiming for him when I did that. Okay, you're starting to sound a bit darker than what I realized. Thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed, but I didn't. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading for Rebellion. Let's keep going.
Yeah, he's really acting differently now. I think the dark magic is getting to his head, maybe. Or the stress of everything that's happening. I don't know. How much galleon do I have now? Okay, got quite a bit. Ramrock's gonna make everyone pay. Rebellion. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. Oh, there you are. Rebellion. I thought a cutscene was about to happen because how my character stopped. Oh, I am so lucky that Devil Snare does not grab you like that. Is there a basilisk around here? Lovely. That's the one thing I do not want to see at the moment. I mean, it makes sense. He's dead right here. So it's probably a basilisk that killed him. Oh, this is not going to end well. I think if a 12 year old Harry could kill Basilisk, my character at the age of 15 can. Suddenly so cautious. I've always been cautious. 
I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said, Oh, your goblin friend. Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me, or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Oh, that's good. Agreed. That was the conversation they desperately needed to have. Rebellion. I just know there's going to be a basilisk in there, considering the note I found. What's that way? What's this? Lumos, Lumos, Revelio, Lumos. Okay, the music just got all creepy. <clears throat> just what the hell am I wandering into here? Okay. So I was a little worried for nothing. So far, so good. Why do you say that? Charming. Spiders. How fitting. Let me go. Arrest that momentum. Oh, brother. Good freedom. Flupenda. Glaciers. Good freedom. Rebellion. I'll be quieter than a job and all. Oh, Jesus! I almost did not see that in the last moment. Shit, 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 shit. Holy shit! Accio. 
Incendio. Glaciers. Defender. Cabalto. Expelliarmus. Confrida. Bombarda. Defender. Arresto Valente. Glaciers. Defender. Expelliarmus. Cabalto. Confrida. Bombarda. Oh. Yeah, that could have gone a lot better. One nudge and that chest might have fallen. Oh, I think three nudges at least. I do like that there was a bit of a conflict between Sebastian and the playable character. What been unbelievable if there wasn't. I mean, it's a little annoying, sure, but it's appreciated. Revelio. These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. <laughs> no kidding. Okay, there it is. Annoying little beasts, aren't they? They really are. Staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Yeah, I wonder why. Incendio. <clears throat> style a bit much if you ask me and the spiders are, don't really help much at all Arrest 
Okay, that. I want to show what that green one was for a second. A little bit of both. Rebellion. Oh, I see what I need to do. Of course, a troll. Where'd you come from? Okay. These confined spaces with all the enemies are really screwing us over. A 
Okay, my ass kicked here. <laughs> no kidding. It worked for a gold trail, it worked for these two. Okay, <laughs> I'll need repair, obviously. Before that, let me go ahead and look around here. Really did, didn't he? Nothing a Reparo won't fix. Reparo. That was a piece of work. More than one. Revelio. Best spell ever. <laughs> we couldn't jump high enough to reach that ledge if we tried. Something. Oh, the journal entry. Isadora was here. Revelio. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that I could use plants and the different potions. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. But yeah, I'm fully expecting for Isadora to be more gone of the fate at this point. Nah, I'm kidding. It's just the name sounds similar. I'm out of breath after all of those stairs. With the view, well worth it. But maybe she's still alive and all that. I mean, it would make sense, but... Yeah, I didn't think that would work. It would make sense to all the magic she's been researching. She could have found a way to keep herself alive. Rebellion. Another barrier. We can blast through it, I'm certain. This can't be a dead end. It must be another floor above us.
Good news? This journal entry sounds worrisome. It really does. Incendio. Rebellio. Depulsa. Uh, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. So why didn't you? This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. But the triptych pointed us here. So who do, who else would it belong to? I feel as if I should be fluent in runic language by now. Isadora created. Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. Revelio. I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. Maybe you can. Revelio. And there it is. Maybe grabbing all the triptychs would be able to help point us to Zora's memory. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. <laughs> so do I. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. <clears throat> and here's the Undercroft. I cannot believe the journey this triptych took us on. No kidding. This is it. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. The final one, huh? huh. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder. What is it? It's the doors, Pensy. Well, Sebastian's coming along with us. I cannot bring my brother back, Father. But I can give you peace.
Please, have a seat. Okay, this is the scene where she takes her Isadora. father's... We are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. Her father's sadness. Something to show you. And we're going to see how her side of things go. These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. I wonder what Sebastian's reaction is going to be to this. Because he's finally seeing the keepers for himself at this point. Wait, well, he tried to get us to do this for Anne. What have you done? I took his pain. Thank you. Does it really take away his pay, or is it something else? That worked. It did indeed. Of course it did. Goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves some. Well, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. Someone will be. Wait, is that the ancient magic I've been finding? That expanded my character's repertoire of magic? I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroth, the destroyed painting, it was her. So someone destroyed a bit of an enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. It was supposed to be her yes. that's in there. Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain... It's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. We don't know what it will do. Wield it. You have the ability. We don't know the aftermath after a time pass. Please. Talk to the keepers. If not for me, then for Anne. It's not going to work out the way we want it to. the keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? So she was supposed to appear here, but she can't because the keepers destroyed her portrait. Damn. And the triptych was hidden there because the keepers destroyed those as well.
Lord Gox getting himself into more danger than he realizes. I'd better find him.